Spice Hot Tweets, the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore, and this is how the show is going to work. Producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board for each topic, and we will present and possibly argue. Luckily for all of us, there is a mute button only to be used when someone's getting out of hand. That's right, it's usually Brody, but shout out to Chad, because we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's get to it, shall we? We're going to dive into our top stories with a new report on crunch at Epic Games. According to Polygon, who interviewed current and former developers who worked at Fortnite, employees regularly work up to 70 hours a week. Some of them even break 100 hours a week at times. Workers are expected to work overtime regularly, and if they don't, their contracts are not renewed. Managers routinely avoid discussions about crunch, as Fortnite's constant patches mean that work never really ends. So, Brody, what do you think of all this crunch? Crunch, crunch. Um, okay. It's great sound, but it's not great in the workplace. <laughs> Uh, I mean, here's the thing. We're so, are you okay? So we, we're so used to this, it seems, in in like the tech world just in general, and that yeah. includes esports, that includes video games, mm -hmm. that people are, here's the thing. It's, it starts because so many people are passionate about this that they put in so much work. Yeah. They just start going in. And those people are rewarded because yeah. they love doing it. But there are some people that now know their limits and their mm -hmm. limits are lower than those. Yeah. But then they're getting punished mm -hmm. for not putting that much work in. And it's a really bad precedent yeah. that, you know, we've, we've seen it with people in this industry that work for free. And it's like that ruins it for everyone because now that's what's expected. So wait, have you ever been accused of crunch? Of crunch? Oh yeah, I put I put a lot of work into certain things, uh -huh. not everything. No, but you used to run melee tournaments. Yeah, did uh, you did you crunch on your employees? Oh no 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 no, it was me. I actually I, I actually had an issue giving work to other people. Uh -huh. So I put myself in. I I don't want to do that because yeah. I th I think that's not fair to expect the same thing of other people if you're putting in extra work. Fair enough. I, you are actually pretty empathetic, surprisingly, but I do, I do think that this is just a common thread in video game development. It's always yeah. been this way. Every large studio, actually big or small, there's always a crunch. Always. And yes, Epic constantly has updates, but it's like one of those things where, oh, I'm really lucky to work here, so I'm going to put the time in. As long as they're getting paid for the time and they're aware of what they've gotten themselves into, I I think it's okay only because that's the, that's the line that we've already crossed in this world. No, How can we go back it's not now? okay. How can we go back though? It's not okay. How? These these companies have already if realized that they can make their employees five, work like this. If this was a five person or like 10 person studio and it was just 10 people with so much passion, not making much money, sure, I get it. You see it in stuff like Cuphead, those games, right? Yeah. That makes sense. But, but this company is making crunched. so a, much no, that's gosh a dang terrible money. example because they crunched like crazy. Maya crunched like crazy. She was pregnant. If we weren't baby, done with this, I would like have crazy. muted you. But oh, we got to go on. So you're lucky. In CSGO, Astralis has broken yet another record. The Danish powerhouse has officially held the number one spot in HLTV's power rankings for an entire year. The thing is, Astralis doesn't show any signs of slowing down. The team has won 15 events in the past year, and no one has been able to keep them down for long. Marissa, you're, you're liking this. And I think I'm liking this. But do you think this is bad for CSGO? That, like, there's one team winning everything? Do you think, like, people looking in are like, oh, it's boring. We know who's going to win. Um, I mean, I guess there could be a little bit of that, but that's just how dynasties work. Everyone always wants the titan to fall. Everyone yeah. wants the king to fall. So that's okay, because it's good for CSGO, because we watch other teams try to get at Astralis. They have a winning formula right now that no other team or manager has been able to crack, and I kind of love it. I love that we're seeing this in CSGO. I don't think it's bad. I think it's just wonderful that we're seeing a team source out, like, they've figured it out, and they watch other teams, they study other teams, they know their weaknesses, they find them. I just feel like that one team that actually cracks the Astralis code, that's when CSGO will just shine the brightest it's ever shone. So uh, oddly enough, uh, we saw this uh, in RL2 when Dignitas won two in a row. Yeah. People are already upset like, oh no, exactly. we don't want more of this. But for some reason, I don't know why. What? I love, maybe it's because I don't watch as much CSGO. You really should. I love that Astralis, oh, I do watch some, but not as much as like hardcores. Mm. But it's like, I love that Astralis is winning. I don't know it's why. Nuts. This is so cool. Like yeah. this is, I, I would argue at this point, the most dominant team mm -hmm. in esports ever. 
And that, yeah. this is this is nuts. It's so cool. I want to see how long it can go. Yeah, absolutely. It's almost gotten to that point now where let's see it. Let's see how long they can ride this train. I mean, I obviously cheer for, it's fun cheering for the underdogs too, and I always will. Every time anyone's funny against Astralis, you always cheer for the underdog, and that's okay. I, I think that every kind of sport needs this, esports and sports. There'll always be Dynasty, there'll always be a king, Everyone and there's always going to be an underdog. But I don't even see Astralis as the bad guy. No. Like, I, I look at them as like, the, this, they're making so many more people uh, attentive to yeah. that scene, mm -hmm. right? It's already a huge scene, but now even more if people from the outside are like, yo, Astralis again? Yeah. This is nuts. I know, so much this so that there's been a I lot of... I think it's good for the scene. Yeah, well, there's been a lot of back and forth in the scene, too, because, like, Astralis would do some events and then others, and yeah. then there was a whole um, blasting on blast recently about taking players away from other tournaments, because there's so many CSGO tournaments that obviously they want Astralis to they be at all of them, good, right? Though. No, of course. Yeah, it's all good. It's all love for Astralis. Listen, we got to move on, because Dragon Ball Fighters next DLC character is launching in May, and it's going to be a familiar face. No, literally, it's a face that's already in the game. GT Goku is joining the fight, making him the fifth Goku that will be in Dragon Ball Fighters and the second Goku DLC character. So this is not counting the characters that look like Goku, such as Bardock, and it doesn't look like the Goku train is stopping anytime soon. So, Brody, as our resident uh, Saiyan, so, I, am I a Saiyan? Uh, and also, I'm proud of you for saying it, right? I know. I really had to think before I said it, though. <laughs> uh, do you think there are too many Gokus? Is this, is this too much Goku? Uh, I mean, I don't think you can ever have too much Goku. <laughs> I feel like they're, they're probably looking at the, the DLCs that are selling the best, and it's, yeah. I mean, probably Goku did well. <laughs> Everyone loves Goku. He's just a ditzy, stupid guy that's super powerful <laughs> that likes to fight, right? So, like, I have no... If it was another one, like, if it was just, like... Uh, I don't know. I, we could maybe use one more like Boo, but like that's it. Like I don't, I don't need much more on that. Then I'd really? be like, oh, yeah, it's too much. But as long as these characters come in with different move sets, mm. different abilities, then th it's not like you're you're getting stale and you don't have a bunch of clones. Like you know, Smash Brothers has a bunch of clone characters yeah. with minor variations. Mm. If you had way too many, you know, sorties or, or spaces that are just very minimally different, mm -hmm. then it becomes a problem. Yeah. But w with this right now, as long as the movesets are vastly different, um, you know, a couple things that carry over, I don't see an issue with it, because I do love Goku. <laughs> okay, I feel like we should start a Goku counter from the second I started that story until now, and how many times we've actually said Goku. And it'll almost it's been a lot. be as many times as, as he's in the game. <laughs> he's in the game, exactly. <laughs> but are the movesets that different, though? If it's the same character, how can they be? Uh, well, we're going to have to ask Zurich and our FGC guys. I, I, oh, don't, okay. I play more Melee than I do play oh, Dragon Ball. I, that's why I think I'm okay with it, uh, because I don't actually have to deal with the situation. Gotcha, but also, like, Dragon Ball Fighters <laughs> as a scene has been slumping. Like, we haven't really seen that much news about it. There's not many <laughs> players still rocking that scene. Like, you're seeing Tekken as the number one, yeah. like, on the rise, and yeah, Dragon yeah. Ball Fighters kind of slumping a little bit, especially with, like, now Mortal Kombat coming out, too. I get that it's a different um, developer and different style Completely of fighting. Completely different but, style game, yeah. But it's still, like, that is the rising star right now, and Dragon Ball Fighters uh, is kind I, of slumping. I think uh, Dragon Ball had a peak because it was brand new, yeah. but it's, I think it's still going to be around for a long time. Yeah. Um, and I, again, I guess to summarize, I don't have an issue with more okay, Gokus. Fine. More Goku. Anyways, lastly, despite falling behind in the uh, Battle Royale rankings, PUBG had a very good year. Mm -hmm. PUBG Corporation revealed that it earned at 970 million US dollars in 2018. Mm -hmm. Half of that revenue came from Asia, where the game is still very popular, mm -hmm. but it has recently returned to prominence in America and Europe as well. Mm -hmm. Now, we both know, of course, Fortnite is making way, way more money, which is why they shouldn't be crunching their employees. Uh, but, uh, but you know, uh, do you think um, uh, PUBG is going to be climbing back on top here? I mean, we see even streamers like Shroud stepping back into, into PUBG. Yeah, you know, PUBG is tight. PUBG is awesome. PUBG, I love PUBG. crushes. Mm -hmm. uh, not crunches, but crushes. <laughs> uh, well, no, maybe they do. No, they, I feel like they're amazing. They just had an amazing weekend, too, of tournament play with Face It. Yeah. So many people tuned into that. They have a great list of talent. They have great players. Um, Lazarus, just the Org just signed um, a team that had been playing with Out Org for a while too. They're bringing mm -hmm. in fresh new players as well. There's always like something happening in the scene. It's exciting to see because we were concerned with Fortnite, and then very concerned when mm -hmm. Apex came out that this maybe wouldn't have the same platform to shine. But I feel mm -hmm. like it is, and, and a lot of other investors outside of North America, obviously Asia, we have the OGN mm -hmm. um, network that came and opened up a studio yeah. in California as well, where they're streaming PUBG too, where they had like weekly tournaments. No, they're doing really well, and I'm yeah, super proud of them. I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried about. Apex, Apex was the, the COD killer. 
Apex yeah. was the blackout killer. Yeah. Um, it, it's a completely entirely different game than, than PUBG. But yeah. as, as you heard too, it's like the Asian region, especially with yeah. phones, because PUBG mobile. Oh, and crushes, so, yeah. you know, if a lot of their money's coming in from skins and stuff in, in the mobile. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's they didn't really say which division it's come from, but like. Doesn't um, matter. They make it the money. See, they can put it back see, into the North I mean, American It probably scene. is a lot of mobile, though. It probably uh, is probably a lot of mobile. Because, because like, mobile. you guys don't put any respect on mobile, I gotta say. And mobile what, is what makes them dollars. It makes the green that mobile. Just because something's popular doesn't mean it's good. We can still trash on mobile just because it's making a lot of money. Yeah, but, yeah, but the trash continues, and yet mobile continues. Continues to shine. It continues you know to make what I've, You know what I've always said? As so, the, at, at the end of the as, as long as the, oh, yeah, I almost yeah. did. I wasn't there. If they put it back into <laughs> the, the, the things that I am going to care about, like North American uh, t uh, or European uh, tournaments uh -huh. or into the PC game, yeah. then I'm fine with it. It's kind of like I'm okay with Pixar making bad movies like Cars as long as they're going to keep making good ones like Toy Story. So you're saying you're a selfish broadcaster? No. Yeah. I'm saying... Okay, shut up. Now it's time to move on to see what streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first clip comes from speedrunner Spike Vegeta, <laughs> who is doing a Vegeta. run in The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past when he accidentally pressed the wrong button. Oh, can you not do it from here? Don't do that. So I just want everyone to know, B says yes. And starting over. Oh my, okay, I love how positive he was after that. Have you ever accidentally done that, deleted a save file? And what would you do, you just start over? Oh my God, I would rage no, quit. I am about to call out my brother. Uh oh. Right now, I'm bringing up some childhood anger. <laughs> oh my God, I had a Mew in Pokemon Blue and I traded it over to my Pokemon Gold and he got into my Pokemon Gold before I could trade it back oh and started a new freaking save file oh. and I lost my Mew. <laughs> and now every time I go to my Blue Pokemon Pokedex, it uh. shows Mew and it shows that it's caught but it ain't there. Oh no. And it reminds me every time. Well, until my Pokemon Blue got stolen, so now I don't have oh. to look at it again. So okay. I guess so it's all good no in the end. I don't know. To that. I, it's, so, it's some twisted way, really. <laughs> That's so messed up. Yeah. I'm not okay with that at all. Honestly, if I lose progress in something, I will rage quit and I will never return. <laughs> like, I will just never return. I can't. I'm such a sore loser. I need to stop thinking about Hangram, so I'm okay, just going to move on. Our next clip is in celebration of Mortal Kombat 11's launch. It comes from Trey and Jay, who played the game story for almost 14 hours straight, mm -hmm. but was hesitant to finish the game. Aww. Uh, 14 hours. I need breakfast. I need. We're not even asking y'all for much. It's uh, just a hot 20. No, I said hot 20. I, I said hot 20. I haven't. Okay, good. A hot 20. Cause this is 14 hours, y'all. We just now got some get the subs. Man, this is entertainment for y'all last. Uh uh. Last part, bro. I need a hot 20 for the last part, man. Y'all been. We all y'all rich people in uh, here. Can't nobody drop making, a hot 20. We mm. Mm. A little bit of malpractice going on in the streaming there. I don't like You're that. not guaranteed money by streaming. No, You're I not. really don't like that. That <laughs> really pisses me off. Let it, no, let it that, that, I full, hear it. that full on pisses me off. That is not cool at all, man. Like, first of all, maybe somebody already donated and they're sitting in the stream watching like, you know what, F you, I already gave you money. Finish the frigging game. I don't think so. That's not right in any way. Like reward the people that watch you and have been watching you from time. Now begging them basically for more money? Oh no, I don't think so. That's literally when I would unfollow. I would unsubscribe from all of that. That's not okay. Do not pander for dough. I get that you're doing this for money. I understand that. But you got your dough, you got your followers, you're playing. Finish the freaking game. That's what people are watching you for. Oh my God, that is so irritating. That's why I let you do it. Because I had the same agreement, but I'm like, she's going to deliver this way oh, better. So annoying. <laughs> I'm, oh God. Let's take a ride now on the Twitter train <laughs> because it's time for Profound Thoughts, where we take the things the pros are taking and spin out their mouths and onto our timelines. Mm -hmm. The first post comes from Hugs because we haven't had one from him in a minute, but this is important. He says, the whole idea of trusting the locals for food recommendations is flawed, seeing as how there are plenty of locals in LA who still line up at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> okay, but like straight up, the Cheesecake Factory did open up in Toronto, and like, always be lining up for like three hours still, though. And it's been like a good six months. 
I ain't never been. I don't know what it is. It's just a restaurant. It has like lots of different options, but like almost cheesecake? too many options and also cheesecake. Yeah, it's just like a staple in the States. It's, it's you know a, what? I think the real thing comes down to don't, you can trust locals anywhere in the world mm. to give you good recommendations for food. Do not trust people in LA for recommendations. They also think in and out is a good burger. Oh. And it's In-N-Out, trashed here. I don't know. It's not a bad burger. It it's is okay. a bad burger. The only reason I like it is because it's cheap. I'm calling you out, everyone in LA. Okay, you have bad maybe, taste people in food. Just, maybe people are just cheap. Hugs okay, grease, so what's, what's worth lining up for in your mind? What's worth lining up for yeah. in my mind? Yeah. Uh, Mountain Dew Doritos. D- no. Brody, <laughs> the, you're lining up five for the guys. next 7 Eleven? Five Guys. Yeah, yeah, Five Guys is, is good, but again, these are just these are chains. His point is that if you're going to go somewhere, you're going to want to go uh, somewhere special, like somewhere where locals actually revere and they enjoy it, not the freaking Cheesecake Factory, which is just like another chain restaurant. We, like, you know, these chain restaurants, like they're good and everything, and I get why they're successful, but like, uh, it's good to get where the locals go, but I guess in LA, the locals don't know anything. If you come on down to Kitchener, I can show you. Oh, God. <laughs> She's not coming down to Kitchener. You, you actually have made a lot of recommendations <laughs> yeah. for Kitchener, but like, I'm going to Kitchener. All right, one day, maybe not, probably not. Next up, we all know about the dumpster fire that was Red Reserve a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> leaving their Call of Duty players without paying fending for themselves mm. out there in the world. Mm. United's latest pickup reflects me when people ask me every month if I receive my salary from Red Reserve. Oh, Not a chance. Not this time. It never happened. It never happened. We made this one up. It's fiction. We made up this one. We made it up. Not this time. I'm wrong. Not this time. Not this time. You're wrong. Not this time. It never happened. There is a bright side though, as he continues, owed 2K from Red, but at least me proving myself on Red Reserve for six months, landing me a great job on E United GG. Yeah. There's always I this, mean that's always true. A silver First lining, of all, right? That meme is hot fire right now. <laughs> Riker just giving it the old mm, no. Yeah. That was false. Yeah, Not no, I, I love it. You, you and Zerk have been grinding in on the tea sipping. Oh, the tea sipping uh-huh. and cod. Yeah, honestly, it, it's we've already discussed this in Esports and 30s, Zerk and I. If you haven't mm-hmm. seen it, definitely check out the VOD on YouTube. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just been a lot of drama with Red Reserve in general. They basically mm-hmm. like left their team. Well, you just kind of explain it, fending for themselves. Yeah. Um, and it's true. Like, you have to look on the bright side of things. Yeah, it sucks that he's owed that much money. Because like 2K, he put the European sign in there. So the he, Euro- 2K, your 2K. 2K Euro, Euro. That's a lot is a of lot. Money of, is a lot. Can- that's like 5K Canadian, yo. That's a lot like of straight up. Here. That's a lot of cash. So that sucks for sure. But being now brought into an org like United is incredible for this kid. Mm-hmm. So hopefully he can take that and run with it. Maybe he'll get paid one day. Who freaking knows? Our last profound thought <laughs> is from Brody's other work wife, Snack Lawler, <laughs> with this hot fire take. He says, "In case you forgot, Fireburner is the man." Thanks for taking the time to chat. Well, it just just ends it. Yeah, that's that's my opinion. Actually, it's fact. You don't have. Uh, you guys can't reply. I know. Well, thanks it, for taking the time d- to chat. Do you agree with your wife? Oh, you know what? Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, Fireburner is the man. I love Fireburner. I love. Yeah, yeah. yeah Fireburner is a great dude. Yeah. Um, I think he slipped off a bit. You know, mm. he's definitely not one of the top guys. And I think that's what Lawler's getting at is that I think we don't give him enough credit. Oh, I see. I think he's actually going into this weekend to convince us. I think he's putting mm. together a bit right now to convince us. So I'm going to have to try to get convinced, but I still think I think he's overshadowed by his teammates. Yeah, definitely. But I I what? I do think he's overshadowed for a bit of a reason. I mean, he's mm. slumped off a little bit, but I do love Fireburner. I'm okay, a, I'm okay, say. fair enough. You kept it very PG very PG. There. Yeah, very yeah. PG, all right. Yeah. Let's move on to crowd control. This is where we show the best memes and stuff floating all around the mm. internet. I got to get in as much RL as possible while I'm here. <sighs> Every Monday, the esports suburb has a meme Monday, and I got to say, Kicker RL killed it. For context, Dignitas went from winning two world titles to sitting one in three in the current league play. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, baby, tell me what you want. Talk to me like you're an effing idiot. <laughs> Dignitas is still good. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Yo, D- yo, people still on uh, F and chat for Dig right now, real quick though. Yo, oh D- my God. Dig is hurting. It's so <laughs> weird. We talk about Astralis, but mm. it's so weird to see a team go from being on the top to all of a sudden the next season. Okay, but it just could could dying. it just be uh, the fact that they have brought in someone new? Like, you know, I mean, I don't know. It just kind of feels bad for Yukio. It feels bad for Yukio, but it yeah. also feels bad for the crossbar that he keeps beating up on. Oh, jeez. Okay. If, okay. Calm yeah, out. we're Gosh the siren. Shots. We, we need a siren. We need a little horn here. Blah, 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 blah. If, if you thought we were done with the crab smash beams, you thought wrong. <laughs> Nairo found the perfect level in smash. You'll never see it come. Yeah. All 
my god. <laughs> I love it. Your reaction was the exact exactly. same as his. Yo, oh grounds my god. for days though. I I mean I can't I don't feel I don't feel bad for Hungry Box because I feel like this is good for him. This is fantastic. It's for him. Yeah, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic yeah. for, for Hungry Box right now. Like he is getting so much PR out of this. <laughs> yeah. Like good PR too, because everyone agrees he was in the right yeah. to be angry. And then he even apologized, which he didn't he absolutely didn't have, to, have to. But it's just like a crab! I can't hey, get over it. You know what? It. Now it would almost be an honor to have somebody throw a crab. Now it would be an honor, I is think. This, is this a new esports thing? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next Let's time any one of us are up on stage. You can crab us. If you can get a crab into the venue. It's crab, yeah, yeah, crab yeah. us. Yeah, but I don't want to, I don't want, I, it needs to be dead, first of all. Like, I don't full really on dead. know. But not how dead for a long time, I don't want it to smell. Comfortable I am telling people to give me crabs. Okay, well, I didn't phrase it that way. But. <laughs> All right, it's time for our last post. This one comes from Reddit user FearMyBeard21, <laughs> who titled it, Thanks to VR, we can now experience leg IRL. <laughs> this the best part you're going to see. Okay. <laughs> hey, markers. <laughs> blah, 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 360, no high five. That's <laughs> <laughs> the, the <laughs> I don't know if that was leg on in the game or if it was just the dude like no. leg is brain leg like oh yeah there's a high five. No, right? he tried, like he went for it. There's there's no way that that wasn't leg. That was full on. This is what I mean about VR, buddy. Like face. you you love VR so I much. Love VR. You love it so much. But look dude, at the experiences wait. that can give us. Yeah. And the great, is, that, is that a good experience? That, yeah. That was that was MLG play right there. What was it? Yeah, 360, no high five, okay, headshot. Okay, so we can tune into your stream soon and watch you do the same thing? No, because I don't have friends. That, or, or followers. Which, oh my god! Ah, uh, that's it for Unmuted. I hope you guys enjoy that. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials. Someone type in exclamation mark in the socials right now. We'll see you next time.